A high drive to right field, and Polanco walks it off. Jorge Polanco delivers in the clutch. Of course, of course he did. Coming into today, ninth in all of baseball and win probability added. Just amazing how he's been performing in big situations. Here we see high leverage, 358 batting average with a 998 OPS entering today. Uh, just a, an animal in, in these high pressure situations this year has been Polanco. So great to see. And we have this guy around for a few more years. Uh, just maybe, maybe the most positive development uh, of all is Jorge Polanco returning to form so far this year. Max Kepler set up that game winning sack fly by hitting a double advance to third on an error, uh, went the opposite way. And you see there, that's not a thing that he does often, but if he's putting swings like this out there, you know, that's going to be a game changer for Max Kepler. Pitchers are going to have to attack him way differently. Uh, but Charlie Barnes started this game for the Twins. He got into trouble here. You see two runners on second and third with no outs. Miguel Sano makes a nice play from here. Great, perfect on the money throw. And a nice tag. Barnes then takes it from there, though. Yeah, but maybe that one wasn't a strike, but hey, you got to get this bat off your shoulder in that situation. It's a good pitcher's pitch. And then he's got to deal with Nelson Cruz with two outs and runners at the corner still. It gets him to chase a pitch outside, and then, you know, you don't always have to make the perfect pitch if you make the perfect pitch selection, and that's what Barnes did. The nice fastball there. Cruz wasn't quite on it right over the heart of the plate. Joe Ryan with his silver medal from Team USA. That was one of the guys that came over in the Cruz trade, uh, and he was at the game. Nice to see him. We should be seeing him on a mound soon. But Matt Cantorino was the headliner in the minor league action today. He was amazing in this start. It was a short start. He's still working his way back from an injury. This is only his second start back. He missed all of June and July, but he pitched three no hit innings with eight strikeouts, eight strikeouts in just three innings. He threw 40 pitches. He had 21 swinging strikes, 21 swinging strikes on 40 pitches. Absolutely insanity. <laughs> I think the highest swinging strike rate for a major league pitcher this year is around like 16 or 18 or something. Uh, so he had over half of his pitches were swinging strikes today. <laughs> Just crazy. And again, this was only his second start after missing two full months. And here we see his patented K sprint. We're going to see that one more time. Uh, if it went, if he strikes a guy out to end an inning, he literally runs off the mound and jumps over uh, the baseline. Uh, just inject this guy's everything into my veins when he's on the mound. Just an <laughs> absolute competitor. He's so hype. He's so focused. I uh, love watching Matt Cantorino pitch, and he was super on. Again, uh, three innings because he's working his way back. Here's that leap one more time. So he, he'll be working his way up, but I hope once he's stretched out fully, they move him up to double A because I, there's nothing that these low, these high, excuse me, hitters can do with him when he's at, at Cedar Rapids right now. Uh, so I would like to see him get up to Wichita and see him end the year there with some a few starts kind of setting up for a nice uh, high minor season next year, and then who knows? He might be contributing to the Twins next season. Uh, that would be very fun, but so exciting. Such good vibes to see him just back out there, but to see him back out there and this dom basically as dominant as you can imagine a pitcher almost. <laughs> Eight strikeouts in three innings. That's just absolutely crazy to me. And here's one more <laughs> where he jumps over the line. <laughs> Uh, again, just love watching that guy pitch. He's so much fun. Jordan Balazovic also pitched today. So two huge marquee pitchers. Not as good. One and two-thirds innings. He gave up six runs, but zero were earned. Let's take a look. Great cabbage in right. Pitch swing and a fly ball. Shallow right field. Racing in his cabbage. Still coming in. Can't get it. Base hit. And to third base is Vargas. And now he's being held up. The throw goes back to third. They throw it away. Goes into the dugout. And Vargas will come in and score. Wichita third base dugout. And so the drillers take a 1-0 lead. On Tuesday night, pitching swing and a comebacker. Filled by Belazovic. He goes to second, throws it low, and it gets by into center field. Belazovic got handcuffed, and then he paused. Instead of throwing the ball to the base, he waited for one of the infielders to so get to rough, second. So a rough, rough start there, but Wichita actually hit seven home runs and came back to win that game. Speaking of home runs, Jose Miranda, here is his 24th. Look at that, 418. That's big boy territory out there. That's a deep center field in this ballpark, and he comfortably cleared it with his 24th home run of the season. Miranda, again, with the St. Paul Saints right now. He started the year in 
Double uh, A Wichita, but he's among the lead, the, not only the league leaders, there's all of the minor league leaders in home runs. As you can see here, he was actually tied for fifth entering today with 23. He hits his 24th, putting him up into, you know, depending on how many of these guys hit home runs into the top five. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you enjoyed this, we're doing this every day here on the channel. So please consider subscribing. So come on back tomorrow. Check it out.